Hey guys, it's Bando. Uh, just a really short video today. I'm actually kind of fighting off a bit of a throat infection, so I feel pretty rough. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video about Praetors, because I'm sure as you've seen already, the Forge Worlds articles come out with the new uh, plastic Praetor model. And in my own opinion, it's a pretty pants model. Um, it's got some cool features, it's got a lot of bad features, and I don't think it fits the 30k aesthetic at all. Um, I think it's very 40k, I think it's got some Age of Sigmar inspirations in it, and I just think it's, uh, it's a pretty bad model, if I'm going to be honest. And I'm going to just show off some of my own Praetors, I've got four of them here. And uh, just, just you know, because I I want to I want to contrast them against what it is that Games Workshop's offering. Um, so on the screen at the moment is my Sons of Horus Praetor, and this guy is made from the body of the Mark IV Chaplain that came in Betrayal at Kalf, Um with a resin power sword from the Mark IV Grades Kit. Uh, the head is from the Iron Hands upgrades. And the legs are actually some Mark 8 legs, I know. Uh, that's pretty bad of me. But with added studs to make them look a bit more archaic. Um, to represent the Artificer armour. He's pretty plain. He He's not overly blingy because... <clears throat> Space Marines weren't particularly blingy at the time. Um, they were kind of... You know, they're professional soldiers. They are, you know, they're, they're sort of more advanced techno barbarians taking back the galaxy. So the next one is my Terminator Praetor for my Imperial Fists, Kanto Kazaria, and you saw him in a recent video. And for this, I wanted a very stoic, static pose or someone sort of watching over the battlefield he's a lot more ostentatious um, you know he's got a lot more stuff going on but he's not overly busy um, everything kind of looks like it belongs nothing looks like it would really hamper his movement nothing looks like it would get in the way or just be over the top in the way that a 40k miniature has a lot of stuff on it like that uh, a lot of stuff in 40k echoes the kind of over-the-top garb of religious and military pompery. Um, this doesn't. You know, he's got a pistol on his hip, a couple of oaths of moment, uh, a tilt shield. You know, the most really ridiculous thing he has is a bundle of keys that's sculpted onto the sword, um, which would have just been a little bit too difficult to remove. third one is actually one of the first 30k miniatures I did and this is the Praetor for my White Scars um, Turgen Yule who is made from the now out of production Fellhand miniature from Burning of Prospero and some Mark 3 and Mark 4 parts and his weapon is a spear made from parts from the Custodes kit and yeah, he's then got a magnetised Mark II jump pack. So that can be taken off and replaced with just a regular power pack. Uh, which is the same for him and his entire command squad. Uh, again, you know, he's he's got very little going on. You know, he's got a knife, an oaths of movement, um, some animal pelts which kind of fit the aesthetic of the white scars. And a cut down extra plate with the Aquila on the front of it, just to sort of give him a bit more interesting armour at the front. Um, just, you know, uh, he's got the simple plume, the horsehair plume, which is very iconic for the, the legions. And then lastly is my Mark VI Praetor. For my Ultramarines, um, who is missing a shield because I've not actually managed to find a shield I like the look of for him to carry. But again, um, this is a Mark VI Praetor with a Paragon Blade. This is no different to the guy who is being shown in the current article today. 
you can tell he's the commander. He's got a little bit more razzle dazzle about him. You know, a little bit of gold instead of silver in places. <coughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, he's still wearing Mark VI armor. Actually, he's technically wearing Mark V because he's got parts of uh, Mark III in there. But you know, YOLO. I just wanted to make a really short video because. I'm going stir crazy sitting here being ill and frankly I think Games Workshop is really dropping the ball on this um, thanks a lot guys this is Bando, this has been Breakfast with Bando um, hope you're all having a good time thanks for watching, bye